It's Friday the 6th of December. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week. Got a lot going on, so let's get into the forecast. Here we are as we're going in towards Friday evening. High pressure parked over the Tasman Sea, and generally speaking, it's encouraging a south to southwesterly flow across the country. So many regions are feeling a refreshing cool down, especially those along the eastern North Island. You've got a short-lived cooler change coming through at the moment. But because the winds are quite light in some areas, perhaps windy through Auckland with the southwesters, but many other areas, it's not too bad. And so you'll have varying wind directions. You may, might even see uh, easterlies coming into the South Island and northerlies into Bay of Plenty. So lighter winds encourages a bit of variability with those wind flows. But generally, the southwesterly flow along the western side of the country is quite noticeable. And like I say, especially around Auckland and perhaps western parts of Northland. So let's have a look at one o'clock Saturday, not a great deal of change. The high pressure zone slides a little bit further up uh, towards Northland. It's still pretty much in the same area. And we see a few more showers bubbling up into Saturday afternoon. Now, a couple of those showers might be a bit heavy, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, could bring a little bit of relief for anyone who needs rain, but it's not gonna be very widespread. And you can see the high pressure zone pretty much in control on Saturday but only for Saturday. We jump to Sunday and we're in quite a different setup. The high pressure zone drifts out east. It's now centered east of Gisborne, out at sea. And we've got northwest winds across the country and they're gonna become strong to severe gale. Now, while there are northwesters all the way from the Catlins all the way up to East Cape and even the far north, the North Island and the South Island have two different airflows. So the North Island's got a subtropical one from around Fiji and uh, coming down across the country. So eastern areas again, back up to 30 degrees like Hawke's Bay. But then the South Island, still a nor'wester, but it only comes out of the Tasman and then track the origins, it actually comes from south of Australia. So you've got a slightly cooler nor'wester blowing over the South Island, but severe gales, perhaps starting as early as Saturday night for some of you in the south, certainly spreading northwards across Sunday and coming into the central part of the uh, country around sort of Cook Strait on Sunday night. So we could be seeing severe gales there. Heavy rain on the west coast moves northwards as well, but because there is high pressure further up around the North Island, that rain band is going to fall apart. So not going to deliver very much in the way of rain for the North Island. And obviously these lows south of us, they're driving in all of this windy weather with the high pressure zones kind of putting a lid on just how far up the country those rain bands can go. So let's have a look at that rain. Let's have a, a closer look. This is the 36 hour animation starting from five o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So you've got this rainfall here on the west coast. It starts to move in and across Sunday, heavy falls moving up the west coast, heavy falls at night time as well. But as we go overnight and into Monday, this is how it looks at five o'clock in the morning, that front has fallen apart, just showers remaining on the west coast. Let's animate the rest of Monday, taking us to five o'clock in the evening. And you can see most of, those, uh, most of that rain band has kind of collapsed but we've got these sort of lumps of heavier downpours. So a few showers coming through. Some of you might get a good downpour, but don't bank on it. You know, it's not a, not a solid looking front as it moves up into the top of the North Island by the time we reach the end of Monday. So let's have a look now at the uh, middle part of Monday. You can see that front here. So pretty much falling apart, couple of little heavier spots here and there, but it may not deliver very much rain. Take a look at our website or our app to get your rainfall totals and you'll match that up and you'll notice, oh uh, yeah, not very much coming from that system. Now also on Monday, the storm south of New Zealand, 968, might even be lower than that. That's quite a deep storm for this time of the year. And what that does is it produces this big, strong wall of westerlies. Some of you might have remembered the other day we mentioned the, the risk of snow on the southern ranges. We kind of backed off that a little bit in today's update. But the blue line here does go over Stewart Island. So uh, you'll feel that colder air, certainly around Stewart Island, maybe in coastal parts of Southland, but only a little bit further inland. You pretty much got mild westerlies blowing through. But the temperatures will drop in Southland and Otago on Monday for a time. Westerly driven weather, sideways weather, it's basically like spring. And so as we go through into Tuesday, we've got a brief area of high pressure coming through. It's not very strong, 10, 18 hectopascals. So lower pressure around the southern part of the country, still showers or rain there around the southwest corner, maybe a couple of showers around coastal Southland. Otherwise, many areas are dry and the heat is starting to return now to the eastern side of the North Island. 
We get to Wednesday, subtropical winds coming back down across the country from our north here. So north to northwesterly winds over many regions. The further south you go, the northwest winds are likely to be cranking back up again. More low pressure, more stormy stuff south of New Zealand. So we get through to Thursday and here comes the next storm. Uh, now look, it's a long way south of us, but because of the air pressure being so low, this year down in the Southern Ocean area, it means that as it pushes up against these highs, and look at this enormous high pressure zone, stretches all the way to basically South America and all the way across to just north of New Zealand. So it's enormous. And so these lows are running into it, creates this big squash zone, and that's why we've got the spring winds. There is not a lot of La Nina life. We don't have La Nina. The other guys are talking about it a lot, but we've got these low pressure zones up here, but still no real energy coming down towards New Zealand. The energy is down here over the top of the Southern Ocean. So let's have a look at the seven day rainfall now for you. You can see it is coming in from the west. You'll see those rainfall totals lifting up on the west coast there, even getting into that blue territory, which is 150 millimeters in just a week. That's the darker blue there inside the purple. The rest of the blue, the pale blue, that's the bottom of the scale there. So you're not seeing much. That rain shadow on the eastern side of New Zealand, very little rain coming for Hawke's Bay, Wairarapa, Marlborough, and also Canterbury. Not much coming in for parts of Waikato as well, but on the west coast, 100 to 150 millimetres. And if you're down in Southland, a little bit of a cross between what, what is happening on the west coast and what is happening on the east coast. So you may end up sort of in the middle ground with 20 or 30 millimetres coming through for you over the next week. And those showers at the top of the country, they are also going to be a little bit hit and miss. That is all from me for today. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll be back again on Monday with our next update. Have a great weekend. <laughs>